You're watching a special edition of Greater Brockton, Meet the Candidates. It's election time here in the City of Champions, and we start with the preliminary election. Uh, today we have Jack Lally, who is the incumbent city councilor in Ward 6. Jack, welcome. Thank, Good to thank see you. you. Good to see you, too. Um, do you believe it's campaign time all over again? Yeah, it feels like just yesterday. Well, yeah. two years is a quick term, as we all know. Someday we'll all deal with that. Maybe we'll do an ordinance change or something. Who knows? Um, Keeps us accountable. It does, because election is about hiring or firing. I don't want to borrow any phrases from Mr. Trump, but uh, if you're not doing the job, they show you the door. Yeah. So talk about Jack Lally, first of all. You, you, you know, your life, your story, what you want to get out to the voters. You, you articulated that two years ago when you ran. Uh, what's new and different? Well, I want to, uh, you know, I want to first, you know, thank all the, you know, all the voters who put confidence in me and elected me in the first place. So I'm able to, um, you know, get, get some things done for the ward. Um, I'm really running, you know, this time I want to continue focusing on public safety, fiscal responsibility, and really, and it's, it's very important for this, for this ward, um, infrastructure you know a lot of I I represent a little over 200 roads mm -hmm. probably probably more than three-quarters of them uh, you know could could use repavement mm -hmm. more than a quarter of them are private ways which means they pay the same taxes fees and bills as everyone else in the city but their road is not even eligible to be paved mm -hmm. so I've been trying to you know address that as as best as we can a lot of uh, a lot of roads are either coming up to be made public or have already been made public. Coe Road, Norwich Road, Maplewood Circle. Um, you know, there's a whole a whole bunch of them. But you know, usually councilors get one road a year paved. Um, I was lucky last year we got two roads, mm -hmm. uh, Tina Ave and Norwich Road, and that's still three million dollars. It's a, it's a lot of lot of money to pave these roads, especially because a lot of them were Campanelli built, and he, he built them wrong. And you have new development going in over off of Quincy Street, the Armiston Street area in the back. I forget what that development's called. Woodland Park. Okay. So they're building all sorts of new stuff, so hopefully they'll do that right this time because I think the, the rules got a little tighter. I live in an area in Ward 1 where Bertarelli built all the wards, and we had the same issue. My street wasn't a, an accepted street, and it had to be accepted. And it was a whole, oh, yeah. it was a 10-year process on my street. I had to actually move away to get the street paved, and then I came back, and it was all good. So oh, that's yeah, a whole yeah. other story. But um, public safety, you have a fire station in yes, Ward 6. Do. And um, if there were any kind of closures or fiscal cutbacks or anything like that, it would be a problem because it's not a, wouldn't be good. It's, its loss would be unacceptable. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, uh, Ward 6 is 95% single family homes, mm -hmm. and that fire station is right in a position to address any emergencies there. You would really be leaving a seventh of the city, you know, open to a great, much, much, much greater fire risk by, you know, taking that station down. I've already checked with this year's budget and last year's budget, and I made sure that the station was you know in no danger of being shut down either year so I know I know we're all right for this you know this fiscal year now I know schools aren't the direct purview of the council yeah. however you as one of the councilors approve or, or cut the mayor's budget Ashfield school in the past few years has been on the chopping block off the chopping block uh, we know we have north-south zones and all of that. I noticed that I heard recently and read recently that you teamed up with your school committee person, Joyce Asak, to get signage for one of the schools where the schools are hard to find. I, I, oh, yeah. I know where Sully Road is and I know where John Drive is, so Brookfield's a little easier. But Ashfield, if Good you're luck, not from yeah. Ward 6 or you're not from the area, you don't know where it is. How tough or easy was it to get that sign put in? Well, it's uh, any anything, you know, anything in government is is work. You know, the uh, the principal of the Ashfield School 
uh, Dr. Lovell, mm -hmm. has this large map of the city up in her office mm -hmm. that she uses when they get phone calls of, you know, maybe it's an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent picking up a student and they have to call the school and say, I have no idea where I am. So they have to use the map to sort of guide them in. Mm -hmm. um, so our school committee woman, Joyce Azak, uh, brought that up and we worked together to, uh, you know, further map out signage in the area. It's not, you know, it's not the, the cornerstone of, of, re, of, you know, redeveloping the area or anything like that, but it's important. You know, it's something that, it's something that, uh, you know, hasn't been done before and nobody, nobody knows really, you know, why it hasn't been done. It's one of those things that people say, oh, well, this is the way it's always been. The principal's got to take a phone call and guide a parent in just because. And it's, it's, it's really not acceptable. So, so now they can find it because you guys work together. Hopefully, yes. No, we, I mean, we work together. On you've it. had ward meetings. Oh, yes. You, you talked about that when you ran the last time. Have they been helpful? I know sometimes people aren't always kind at ward meetings, that if they happen to have something that they're upset about, the counselor's going to get it, so to speak. And oh. uh, I, we recorded one of your ward meetings. We've, we've done meetings around the city. We've done Tom Monahan's meetings. How important do you think it is to get the word from your constituents about their concerns by doing the ward meetings? Well, my, you know, my cell phone is on really everything I, I hand out. It's on the campaign flyers. It's on, uh, you know, the business cards. It's on letterhead. It's on everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the counselor's job is to be a, a representative and a resource. Even if we are not the, uh, you know, right authority to call, mm -hmm. we can still hear your concerns and give you, you know, advise you on, on where to go. If it's a state issue, we can tell you to call your state representative, you know, give you information about them. You know, maybe it's maybe it's a national issue. Maybe we have to say call Congressman Lynch. Mm -hmm. But we're at least able to point you in the right direction. Tell you what you know. Tell you what department handles it. And you know, as I see it, what I see is that the job of a counselor is to be entirely honest mm -hmm. and to give everyone, um, you know, all the information that you have. People aren't, you know, people aren't dumb. If you give them, you know, if you if you're honest with them, if you level with them. And tell them everything you know. They're they're gonna come to you know the same conclusion as as a lot of as a lot of their peers. It really is. Um, even when there's no immediate fix, you can you know by by updating them on what's going on, by telling them what's happening, they appreciate that. They know you're they know you're doing work on it, and now they know exactly what the playing field is. They know whether or not this is a multi-year thing, they know whether it's in the works, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's, it's all about, and that's, that's why I try and do the ward meetings and try and get Brockton Cable access at as many as possible. It's all about information. The more information people have, the better. They gave me a five minute cue, and I want to make sure there's a minute or two at the end so you can sum it all up. Two things come to mind. One is the sports complex. Yeah. Okay, that was a big community meeting. People talking about it. It had been talked about. It had been talked about for years before me. But it before looks. I was born. It looks like <laughs> it's coming to fruition. Is yes. that true? Oh yes. Okay. They're uh, they're buying the land from the city. They're uh, they're paying two hundred and seventy thousand dollars for the land, mm -hmm. and they will be um, paying over three hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year in taxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, their give back to the community is they'll be redoing all the baseball fields at the Brookfield. Mm. Fingers crossed, hoping for hoping for lights, but dugouts, a new snack shack, reseeding all the fields. Um, you know, a lot of work that would have taken a long time and a lot of money mm -hmm. if the city uh, were to attempt it ourselves. Um, but the the sports complex, it's a it's a positive thing. It's a step forward. And it's it's beneficial for the ward. Um, you know, we've really also you know tried to work on you know just just standard things, constituent concerns. The street sign's gone. There was no sign at Hillstrom Park. Things like that. You know, just that we can get addressed. The tiny fixes that can sometimes make a lot of difference. 
Ward 6 seems to be a hotbed of activity this election season. There's three candidates for council and three candidates for school committee, two incumbents, okay? You can kind of weave this into maybe your closing statement because I want to give you more time. I don't believe it's talking about me, okay? okay. So why do you think, I know one of them's a rematch, your opponent from the, the last election, one of them, and then the newcomer. Tell us why Jack Lally needs to be reelected, and why the other two um, shouldn't be elected. I, I don't want to be negative. I want to okay. stay positive. But you're running for reelection. Talk to the voters. Tell them why you should be returned. The, the goal, the goal for me is to focus on on the positive. But um, you know, everyone has a right to run. You know, this is that's why we have these elections. I don't, I don't own this seat. It doesn't belong to me. Uh, we have these elections, so if, you know, if I'm doing a bad job or something like that, you know, somebody else gets the, the opportunity. So it's, um, it's fantastic to see people running. Part of the reason I ran in the first place was, you know, if I win or lose, at least I can, you know, hopefully encourage more people to run. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've been, you know, I'm completely open to, to anyone, you know, questions, concerns, things they want to see fixed. Please don't hesitate to give me a call at 508-410-0330. You know, it's uh, it's it's something that we're still working on. You know, we're still we're still fighting to uh, to improve the ward, but I, I feel like we've made a lot of progress. You know, got a lot gotten a lot of stuff done, and you know, I'm I'm available. So please, questions, concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. You know, I thank you for the support that I've seen at the door. Uh, support in the last election and if anything you know anything comes up please give me a call I hope to uh, I hope to have your vote again thank you and you have an email Jack uh, Lally at Comcast.net so people can get you you have an official one too you, yes that's the campaign one but you have a you know is it what is it is it Jack is it Jack Lally or Jay Lally at cobma.us Jay Lally at cobma.us and mm -hmm. if if they send me an email, if, if anyone sends me an email to jlally at cobma.us, I will add you to my email list. I have a uh, award meeting list, so you're informed whenever I have a meeting coming up, so to keep you in the loop to give you all the information. And I know you're on Facebook, too. Absolutely. And you're going to be walking the neighborhood, meeting, talking to people. You're trying to get your signs placed. And it's it's campaign season once again in Brock. Absolutely. That's my... Uh, that's, I, I like to joke that it's my fitness plan. I eat whatever I want for two years, and then campaign season, I walk and sweat it off when I'm going all the houses. Work for me, 15 or 20 pounds. I'm not running for there anything, but I, maybe I'll meet you guys all on the campaign trail. We'll walk together. Good to see you, Jack. Thank you. Thanks for uh, doing what you do, and, and best of luck. We'll have you back, and we'll get all the candidates together, and we'll debate some of the issues. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Candidate Special Edition, Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more. I usually say events, places, people, and faces, but we're focusing on the people this time. So stay tuned and uh, watch Brockton Community Access for all your election coverage. <music>